Hey, Hawthorne Bears, I hope you guys had a great spring break. Thought we'd kick off some more Esta Mysteries. Today we're going to do one called Spring String Beads. This one is geared towards grades three to five. Um, younger grades may enjoy it too. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, so we have string beads. And you can see there's two bowls of beads, plus we have three in the middle here. Your job is to start out by estimating how many beads total are on the string, not just these beads, they're all connected on one big string. So how many beads do you think there are? Go ahead and make your estimate and uh, write it down or talk to somebody that's in the room with you, but get to do your estimate on how many beads you think there are all together. Now, as we go through this, there's actually going to be five clues, and then I have a bonus question for you at the end. But as we go through this, I have a hundreds chart, so we'll start eliminating some possible answers as we see the different clues. So why don't we start out? Clue number one, is the total an odd number or an even number? The two bowls holding the same number of beads? Ah. The two bowls are holding the same number of beads. So, based on that information, we should be able to tell whether this is an even number or an odd number. So, I want you to think for a minute, what do two odd numbers? So let's pretend that these are odd numbers. If you add two odd numbers together, do you get an odd number or an even number? So think about what is three plus three? Well, three plus three would be six, and six is an even number. So an odd plus an odd equals even. How about two even numbers? So let's say two plus two. What does two plus two equal? Equals four. So two even numbers would also equal an even number. So we know that the two bowls whether there are odd, whether there, ah, whether there's an odd number of beads or an even number of beads, if the number is the same in both bowls, when you add them together, it's going to be even. Now we have three beads on the outside, which is odd. So what happens if we add an even number and an odd number? So think about what is two, which is an even number, plus three, which is an odd number. What is two plus three? It would be five, that's right. So is five even or odd? That's correct, it's odd. So knowing that these two bowls right here are the same makes that an even number of beads plus an odd number of beads means altogether we have an odd number of beads. So if I look at our hundreds chart here, I'm gonna cross out all of my even numbers. Remember, even numbers are numbers that can be split equally between two people so I'm gonna cross out anything ending in a two, a four, a six, an eight, or a zero. Let's cross those out. There we go. Did we cross out your number? If so, that's fine. In math, when we get more information, we fine tune our guesses. So now I want you to go ahead, if you need to, update your estimate based on the new information we have. Go ahead and write down your new estimate or tell somebody in the room. All right, let's move on to the next one. The next clue is the answer is not a multiple of five. So what is a multiple of five? A multiple of five means that five times a number would be a multiple. So I know that five times three is 15, so 15 is a multiple of five. I know that five times 10 is 50, so 50 would be a multiple of five. Anything times five, whatever you come up with, whatever that, um, whatever the product is, is a multiple of five. You can also get to it by skip counting. So if you just go five, 10, 15, 20, we can cross those out. So let's look at our hundreds chart. We know from our fives multiplication facts that anytime you multiply something by five, it's either gonna end in a five, or a zero. Now we've already crossed out the zeros because those are all even, but now we need to get rid of all these fives. So I'm gonna go ahead and shade any number ending in a five. 
All right. Did we cross out your number right then? If so, no worries. Go ahead and update your estimate. And go ahead, let somebody know what your new estimate is. You got it? All right, let's move on to the next clue. The next clue, the answer does not include the digit three or the digit seven. Now that doesn't mean just in the ones place, it can also be in the tens place. So remember with three or seven. So let's come over here. I know that, okay, I need to eliminate anything that ends with a three, which would be these right here. I also need to eliminate anything that ends in a seven, which are on this column right here. But then I look at this row, this row starts with a three, the thirties. So I'm gonna cross those out. Same thing with the seventies because they begin with a seven. So we should be able to cross out a lot of numbers here. There we go. Did we cross out your number? If so, go ahead and update your estimate. What's your new estimate on how many total beads you think there are? Do you have it? All right, let's go ahead. Let's look at the next clue, clue number four. The answer is one more than a multiple of five. Uh, this is an interesting clue. So if we come back over, before we said that a multiple of five always ends in either a five or a zero. But this clue is saying the answer is one more than a multiple of five. So, if we just look at our five and zero rule, what is one more than a five? Well, it end in a six. We've already crossed all of those out. So we know it can't end in a six. But the other multiple of five are numbers that end in a zero. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, all these are multiples of five. So one more than these would actually be our ones column. So we're gonna go ahead and cross out everything that's one more than, or that's not, one more than a multiple of five or so, anything that's not ending in a one. So let's go ahead and cross those out. All right, now technically, um, so Mr. Pye made a mistake here. I left the number one unshaded. A, I know there's more than one because we saw that on the string that there was three there. But also, I left everything that ended in a one, but one itself is not one more than a multiple of five. And so I should have shaded this one out. All right, so go ahead, update your estimates. If you had something that did not end in a one, go ahead, fine tune your estimate, and we'll take a look at the final clue. Carrie, you ready? The final clue, the answer is not a multiple of three. The answer is not a multiple of three. So to find a multiple of three, we can either skip count by threes, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, so I'd cross out 21. Or what you could do, if you add the numbers of a two digit number and the, the sum of those numbers ends up being a multiple of three, you know that number is a multiple of three. So for example, with 21, I know that two plus one is three. Three is obviously a multiple of three because three times one is three. So 21 would be a multiple of three. So let's apply that logic to 41. 41, four plus one is five. Five is not a multiple of three, so I'm not gonna cross that one out. 51, five plus one is six. Three times two is six, so 51 is a multiple of three. And if I apply that same logic, well, six plus one is seven, that doesn't work out. Eight plus one is nine though and three times three is nine. So I'm gonna actually cross out the 21, 51, and 81. So let's go ahead and cross those out. There we go, that leaves us either, again, number one should be crossed out. So there should either be 11, 41, 61, or 91 total beads. So go ahead and take a look at the final picture there. Knowing what you know now, and looking back at our clues here, how many beads do you think there are total? And what I would like you to do is go ahead and write that number down. 
and then tell somebody why you chose that number. I'll show you the numbers that are still left. Okay, write it down. I'm gonna give you, go ahead and give you 20 seconds to go talk to somebody about what the final guess is. All right, you have it? All right. The final answer is 61 beats. Great job. Now, here's the question. Here's your bonus question. I want to know exactly how many beads are in each bowl. We have enough information to find that out. How do you think we could solve that? Go ahead and think for a minute. How could you figure that out? One way to do that, we know we have 61 total beads. What if we subtracted these three beads? How many would we have? What's 60, ah, what is 61 minus three? That's right, 61 minus three is 58. Now we know that there's the same amount of beads in each bowl and there's two bowls. So what is 58 beads divided by two? Go ahead and take a minute, work that math out. What is 58 divided by two? All right, you think you have it? Let's see if you're right. 29 beads. That's right, because 29 plus 29 is 58, plus three more is 61. Good job. Did you guys get that? If so, great job. If not, it's all good. The reason why we do this is to fine tune our estimation skills. Go ahead and stay tuned uh, for more videos this week. Really miss you guys. Can't wait to see you again. Take care.